Gemini, this is Romani Raven from Truth Digital Transformations coming at you with your third week of November energy reading for 2022. We're going to take it resonates, leave what doesn't. This is for um, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, and Rising Placements. Third week of November 2022, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node Placements. Gemini, third week of November 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Northern Placements. We're going to put six cards out from the Moon Knowledge deck and go into Tarot to see what this is about, okay? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node Placements. Third week of November 2022, six cards, please, Spirit. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node Placements. Third week of November 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node Placements. Okay, so I have your cards. So your first card is... Your dreams need a practical plan with the full moon in Taurus. Meditate and contemplate new moon in Pisces. The end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in Capricorn. We're going to use the tarot to see what's going on with this. You are good enough full moon in Virgo. A lot of my signs have got this one. Your commitment is being tested first quarter moon. We'll see what your commitment is being tested with. And bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. A lot of people have gotten this one as well. The um, God Source Divine is wanting us to come from a more higher, a different perspective of love, okay? We are going to use the um, Lightseer's deck. I feel like you're being working on your, stabi your stability and your money. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node Placements, third week of November 2022. Just hold on there. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, third week of November 2022. You're being, you're working on creating generational wealth to be passed down for, to your children. Gemini, but I feel like it may be coming in slower than you want. Some of you may be building a home. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node placements, third week of November 2022. Or some of you may be moving. What is your dream scene or practical plan about for my Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node placements, third week of November 2022? You may be seeing a lot of ladybugs, and I'm seeing a ladybug crying up here. That may be your confirmation. There's something from the past that you don't want to think about any longer. You move on from this. Um, you may be in your head up at night having bad dreams. Or Queen of Wands energy, Sagittarius, uh, Aries, or Leo, maybe in her head. Feel free to change masculine feminine energies, okay? You're closing out a cycle. What's this meditate and contemplate about for my Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node placements, third week in November 2022, please, Spirit? Meditate and contemplate, sun, Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. You're closing out cycles. Yeah. And there's some, there's like, oh, there was a conflict. It's going to come to a, a resolution. Closing out cycles with the world. This is uh, travel. I see you traveling with family and friends for the holidays. Money coming in, bonuses possibly from work. Your ability to working on stability. There is someone that you are, either you or someone you're working with that is the king of pentacles, meaning they have money, they're very abundant. It's a win-win situation for this, for you or this person. They're meant to be seeing the spotlight, but you need to write out your dreams. Uh, you could do, um, write down your dreams, write out your manifestations live in the energy that it's going to come and as well as um, meditate on it write out your plan how you want to do it what is this tough cycle approaching for Gemini's third week of November 2022 Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node placements what is this tough cycle that's ending so there's something that is hidden and in the dark with the Seven of Swords but it is coming to light okay there are many options here. You or someone has many options. There is a snake here. So beware of that snake. So temptations may, I'm hearing temptations may um, come to you. Triple seven, 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 seven. You may want to play that um, for th if you play the lottery. Just saying. Um, but you are, you planted your seeds. You are nurturing your garden. Whatever this is. So whether it be love, relationships. I feel like this has to do with a tough cycle and lack. Okay. Um... <clears throat> 
What is you need to know that you're good enough. What is it you're good enough about for my Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Lord Night Placement in the third week of November 2022? There's something that you're manifesting. You may be hiding the truth in something, or someone may be hiding the truth from you with the Ace of Swords in reverse. You're good enough. You don't need to hide. You need to speak your truth. Okay? Um, yeah. There's a new a, a new romantic cycle beginning or a new area of inspiration with the ace, something you're passionate about, a new beginning with passion, the ace of wands. Your what is a uh, Gemini's commitment that's being tested about for the third week of November 2022? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Your romantic commitment's being tested with the Knight of Cups. You may be wanting to make a romantic offer, or someone may wait be waiting on a romantic offer, but it's coming in slowly with the Knight of Swords. And it could be something that you walked away from or you're wanting to walk away from. It could be a commitment and love and a relationship, okay? Um, make sure it's equal, equal reciprocation. You're giving equally, they're giving equally. You need to bring love into this loving situation, relationship, if it's a work situation, friendship, dynamic, or family, okay? What does this bring love to the situation about with the new moon in Aquarius for my Gemini's third week in November 2022? Sun, moon, rising, Leo. Or sun, moon, rising, <laughs> north node. Venus placements. The devil's here to test you with Capricorn energy to get you in your shadow. They don't want you to see this from a higher perspective of love. The divine's bringing you in a cup of love. You need to make sure you fill your own cup first and it's equal reciprocation. There may be a new start in love, starting over with your partner, uh, whether you're married or not, or starting over with someone new because I feel like the energy was the circle wasn't it wasn't coming in full circle the quite the way you wanted you may be starting new with someone starting to work on a marriage or relationship or beginning a new one okay so i hope this reading this could be remember the relationship can be romantic can be family it can be work put it where it resonates okay i hope this reading found you well gemini i will see you next time